Folks, my next guest is a comedian, an actor, a Daily Show correspondent, and the captain of the Starship Enterprise. Please welcome Roy Wood Jr. <laughs> Hello. How you doing, Roy, sir? Wood Jr. I'm doing fine. How are I'm you? Good, man. Right. Hey, happy uh, Black History Month one day late. I apologize. Well, I, thank you. I should have called. I appreciate I that. Called. It's, I apologize. it's African American History Month. Is it? Yes. I didn't know it uh, officially changed. Well, some white dude told us what we, we should call it now. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. Did you see, uh, speaking of white dudes, did you see Donald Trump's speech last night? Yeah, 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 yeah. What'd yeah. you, what'd you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What, what he you, was up you there. Think? He was, you know, he was talking. He was English. He spoke in English. Yeah, it was. Yeah. This, it, I'm very concerned because, like, as a minority, like, as, as a black person, when I look at what's happened with this administration towards other minorities up until this point, it makes me nervous because I know we next. <laughs> you know, black people at some point we on the list. And you see what's happened with Planned Parenthood and women, and you see what's happening with the Muslim ban, and you see what's happening with the, with the gay and the trans community. Like, as a black person, you see all these other minorities getting disrespected. It's like walking in the house and seeing your siblings get a whooping, and you know you next. <laughs> it's like... Uh -huh. Uh, it's nerve So what do you do? You go back out the door? Yeah. What do you do? Because you walk in the house and you see the Muslims laid over Trump left. I told you, no, right, black people, come here. Come here. No. Go upstairs and get my stop and frisk. I'm like, no, Obama said we have to use the stop and frisk. That's what it feels like. Yeah. And it, it just, it, it makes me scary because Black History Month, all you saw was Trump taking pictures with all of these affluent black people. And you have to be leery of someone who says that he wants to give your group rights while at the same time denying rights of other people. Sooner or later, that snake gonna bite you, too. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Well, he says... Donald Trump says... He says he has a very good relationship with the African-American community. He said, and we get this correctly, he said, the blacks love me. <laughs> that's what he said. That's not me. That's I mean, what I know he what said. he said. I'm just saying... Yeah, do you want to fact check him on that one? You should ask more blacks. <laughs> Okay, now listen. We have something in common. You're a Daily Show correspondent. Yes, I was sir. proudly a Daily Show correspondent for Paved many, way, many man. years. I paved the way. I was I'm in there. Good. I was in there. I was in there at the beginning. Uh, what? Uh, you're you're out on the road. You go out on the road to do these field pieces out yeah. there. Have, how is your soul doing? Because you go out there and you talk to the lovely people out there who perhaps have different worldviews than you mm -hmm. do, and then you have to come back with the comedy and edit it, and sometimes they get mad at you. Yeah, like, people get very mad very fast. Mm -hmm. um, I went to North Carolina. I, I have not been sued personally. Oh, yeah, you no, just you yeah, wait. I just yeah. tell them... I, if they want to sue me, I tell them I'm on the, with the late show with Stephen Colbert. And that's what I tell them. <laughs> All but right. I got scared one time in uh, North Carolina. It's probably the most scared I've been on a field shoot. Myself and Jordan Klepper, we went to North Carolina. They have a law in place where they can deny service to people. Businesses can deny service to people just on the suspicion that you're gay. What? Just, I think you look gay. You know what? No, I'm not serving you. Wait a second, wait a second. So I've heard about, like, laws like, you know, I'm not going to make your wedding cake or I'm not going to take Correct. photos. Correct. Your... Because but that, this I'm not going to make a gay wedding cake or whatever. We but... just set up a barbecue truck and denied Southerners barbecue and called them gay today face. <laughs> to show the law so you had a barbecue truck. What was the name of the truck? Uh, Bone Brothers Barbecue. <laughs> Brothers and Bone. Was it good? Oh, it was good. Was it good barbecue? barbecue? That's why they was mad. <laughs> so people would come up. People were shaking the truck. And you would say, you would say, <laughs> you can't have barbecue because I think you're gay? Do you know how frustrating it is for me to out yourself and you didn't even know you were gay and I out you for you? It's not as bad as denying me barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was one of those times where I definitely was scared for my life. Yeah. But we got the truth out there, and that's the important thing about the show. So, you know, we keep getting on the plane and doing it again and again. Well, good luck, because I know, I know how hard it is. How hard it is. It's scary. Yeah, yeah, it's scary. Um, now, uh, you got a new special called Father Figure. Correct. You got a new son who I just met downstairs. Yeah. What's his name? Henry. Henry. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And your lovely wife. And so, why, why was it important for you to make this, uh, this? You say this is a message to your son. Yeah. Why make a special out of it? Why, why not just talk to him when the time is right? 
Because, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be alive that long, man. So, I figured I'd give him something he can pull up on iTunes in a couple of years. Is he going to have to pay for it on iTunes? I, possibly. He, he might. <laughs> like, the thing is that there's certain stuff that you can explain to a child. And, you know, sex and, oh, be nice and don't murder. Like, that's... <laughs> Sesame Street teach you that. But when it talks about how to deal with the society where people may hate you for the color of your skin and not letting that permeate your subconscious and affect your self-esteem, that's probably daddy talk. So mm -hmm. I decided to make a special and make sure that I talked about race and talk about race relations in this country so that sooner or later, even if I'm not here to have the conversation with him, he could understand the ideologies and how he shouldn't let those things affect him. Like what, any skills or like any tools? Yeah. Are you giving him, like, specific instructions or anything like that? Well, the first thing I'm going to steal in my son is always leave a store with a bag. Period. What do you mean? We live... You don't... You don't... You leave stores without a bag. I mean, it depends on how much I buy. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> it don't matter what I buy, I leave with a bag. You have to leave with a bag. As a black man in this country, you, I, people need to know I paid for this stuff, so I need a bag. Not only do I need a bag, I need that receipt, and I want people to staple it to the outside. I was at Best Buy. <laughs> staple my receipt to the outside like Chinese carryout. I'm not leaving a store. <laughs> no matter what I buy... Wisdom. You leave with a bag. Sound wisdom. Because you don't want no questions from that security guard. You don't know what he'd been through. Yeah. You don't know what the security guards would do. Yeah. He might snap. Yeah, he would. What you doing up there? I'm like, oh, I got the receipt right here. No, he's going for a gun. Stop it. Well, not good what luck. I want. Stay safe. Absolutely. Stay safe. Thank you for being here. Pleasure, sir. His new special father figure is on the Comedy Central app. Roy Wood Jr., everybody. We'll be right back.